just YouTuber things, guys. I gotta do my job every now and again. But I'm sure we all know this by now. We have the Brawl Talk coming out tomorrow, as well as the sneak peeks following shortly after that, which we always cover very heavily on this channel. So if you guys want to keep up to date, make sure to subscribe. Hi. The countdown has finally arrived with probably one of the biggest updates we'll be getting all year, and that is, of course, the Brawl Stars Summer Update. I think we can all agree a lot of the buildup and the speculation has been quite heavy this time around, so very excited to hop straight away into this video specifically and get a little bit more information. But we're starting things off on the Brawl Stars Twitter page with a tweet that came out three hours ago. You are now entering the splash zone. Hashtag Deep Sea Brawl. Hashtag Brawl Talk with a link to the Brawl Talk itself. Now, like we always do in these videos, we're gonna be breaking down this picture very thoroughly later on in the video because most of the time we get a large bulk of the sneak peeks from this photo and there's a lot to unpack, that's for sure. But getting into the Brawl Talk premiere itself, in 23 hours at the point that I'm recording this video, this bad boy is going to go live and I could not be more excited. The title is Brawl Stars Brawl Talk, New Brawler, Remodel, and lots of improvements. At face value, guys, first impressions, this update's theme is looking very, very exciting. If all the skins are kind of designed around this concept that Colt has, where he's literally underwater, as you can see in the background, we have some underwater structure back there, as well as bubbles floating up. And it looks like he's got like a face covering so he can breathe underwater. Guys, the vibe is exceptional. We might be playing underwater in this update. That's so dang cool. But of course, getting into the most important thing on this thumbnail, nail in my opinion and that is the silhouette of the brand new brawler coming to this game and presumably from the title of the brawl talk it appears that we're going to be getting just one brawler here in this update i feel like we've been kind of getting spoiled by the amount of brawlers coming out i'm totally fine with just one brawler the last thing that i want is brawl stars to get super overly saturated with brawlers really quickly right which is kind of the risk you run with releasing multiple brawlers each update so i'm chill with this but the very first thing my eyes drifted to is the top piece. The top piece really reminds me at first glance of those very olden scuba suit helmets. For an example here of what I'm talking about, this old like scuba suit helmet with those protrusions coming off the side and the front. Of course, in the silhouette, we can't see the front, but we can see those little pieces on the side where I believe they're just like viewing things so you can see where you're going underwater, right? Seeing that there's a lot of symmetry going on here as well is making me believe that that's probably the most likely outcome here with like some of the finer details on these side protrusions matching exactly what's going on on the left side as well as well as the bumps on the top here they're pretty dang identical so really leaning towards that helmet being a part of this new brawler here it's definitely getting a little bit harder the further we go down on this silhouette to discern what it is i'm definitely not getting any like human anatomy from this unless the silhouette is it just in a really really strange position but it kind of looks almost like a curvature to it's like a sea serpent or like a snake, you know what I'm saying? Where it kind of starts over here to the right and coils around and just kind of zigzags back and forth, right? There's no legs to be seen or anything like that. But either way, who the heck knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Silhouettes are always incredibly fun trying to piece together, but also incredibly difficult. The dev team does a good job with the orientations, so we can't just like figure it out right away. But I guess the only other thing that I'd like to point out is of course the text, Underwater Summer. So it kind of is confirming our suspicions or our theories that we've had in the past of some sort of underwater update, some sort of aquarium update. It looks like we're actually getting that with the hashtag along with this text on the thumbnail and it's looking amazing. I'm really, really liking this theme. It's like a shark cult skin. It's so awesome. Be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about the thumbnail, the silhouette of the new brawler. Definitely love your input on stuff like this. Very helpful. But getting into probably my favorite bit of these videos, videos and that is taking a look at just how long the Brawl Talk is going to be. If you type Brawl Talk on Google almost every single time it will pop up with its duration even though it doesn't show on the premiere but it looks like this time around it's 7 minutes and 24 seconds long which is impressively long. Now just to kind of put this in perspective for all of you guys in recent Brawl Talks I have been noticing that the duration of them have been trending upwards just a little bit. Some of the more recent ones we have 
6 minutes and 44 seconds, 6 minutes and 39 seconds. But even so, with those durations, it's pretty rare to see a Brawl Talk in like the 7 minute zone. We don't typically get that much. The last summer update, which had a ton of content, literally two brawlers to showcase a bunch of game modes, was 6 minutes and 32 seconds. And this new one is almost a minute longer than last year's summer update. And this one, I think, only has one new brawler coming out in it, so they don't need to showcase two, so it's pretty dang wild. But with all of that out of the way, we are next transitioning into the second half of this video, and that is breaking down the sneak peek photo that comes out with any Brawl Talk that definitely has a lot of info to it. This one is going to be a challenge, pulling anything super significant from just because of that background, my goodness. But let's start simple here. So the very front of the photo, the most important thing, the thing that your eyes should be going to right away from the start, is of course this manhole as well as the hose coming out of the hole. So presumably the most important thing is probably having to do with the newest brawler. I think the hose is a really good explanation as to why there's this like strange curvature going on with the bottom half of the silhouette, kind of like a snake or a sea serpent to some degree. Maybe it's literally like a hose brawler or something like that. I guess it might be a, you know what? New brawlers in Brawl Stars universe, nothing would surprise me at this point. But with that out of the way, moving along to this incredibly hectic graffiti background here, let's see if we can pull away anything super significant from it. Over here on the very far left, we have the letter G along with an island. I'm not sure if that's like incredibly significant, but I think it might be a little bit more important compared to some of this other stuff, much like like bad randoms and things like that. But we do have that bad randoms along with the Poco skin. We have Sloop. We have Crazy there, I think. We have some sort of contraption that are located on some marines as a way to view what's going above water, right? So like they hover really close to the surface and then this contraption comes out where they can look and see. So I think that's just graffiti of that. It would make sense seeing that we have like graffiti submarines and stuff. And hey, look, you can see what I'm literally talking about, that thing. But we have here, Lucky watching you. So I'm not sure what Lucky is, but it's kind of our very first foreign thing. We have something really, really hard to make out there, maybe race or rage. We have this sick looking fish. I'm in love, guys. But moving along, we have Spike there. He always needs to pop up in these photos. We have something cut off there, Z something. Don't think it's super significant. Not sure what that is. And we have this star looking dude. I've been seeing a lot of people speculating that this might be a sprout skin seeing that it's kind of like the sprout face that we know in love and it's yellow right but it's just not the notepad so i could definitely see a world where we get a sprout skin where instead of the sticky note we have a starfish on his face i think it's a pretty dang cool theory and it makes a lot of sense to me so maybe a new sprout skin we have another star there i think just starfish stuff so i'm thinking abyss might be something kind of significant as well or it just might be something related to like a water abyss like deep deep water which is where you would see like a fish kind of like this, some sort of wrangler fish. It's hard for me to speculate on any of this type of stuff. Rules 7 or rules three, something like that, rule 37. Got another star, guys. I feel like starfish might have something important to do with the update. <laughs> it's popped up a lot now. We have tar there, or maybe a cut off star that bubbles popping up from the submarine. But we're getting into, I think, the more, more important sneak peeks here coming from this photo. If you guys don't recognize this skeleton, it's the same skeleton that's on Penny's hat. So once again, Penny, Easter egg, whatever you'd like to call it, I think it's pretty much so safe to say that Penny's getting a remodel, right? Which is smack dab in the title of this Brawl Talk as well. We have the Star Park logo there, maybe having some importance here in this update, who the heck knows. But then we get to this huge, huge piece right next to this hose that is a little bit on the harder side to make out, which I think is intentional. It's just bizarrely hard to make out. You guys, I don't just say it for fun in my videos when I ask for your guys' input because a lot of the time in these types of videos, I look at input <laughs> on these photos to kind of formulate my theories. But we have this user here, Opal, after scrolling down so, so far, actually someone taking a crack at this thing saying, Otis, new brawler name. And this person saying Otis is a cow from the barnyard show slash movie. 
Oop, here's another one here. What is written in this graffiti? I think Otis. Could it be the new brawler's name? Yeah, guys, there's a few people saying it. And seeing that, like we mentioned before, it is just harder to decrypt than most of this other stuff when it comes to graffiti is also kind of tickling my fancy, making me feel a little weird, the gut. But I think that's enough from this very chaotic sneak peek photo. Definitely a lot to look at, but I think a lot here, right? It's giving us a lot of really juicy things. But yeah, guys, I think that's just about as deep as we can go with all of this info that we got here today. Be sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about all the crazy info here. Always love to hear what you guys have to say. But yeah, everyone, once again, be sure to be on the lookout for that Brawl Talk breakdown. Tomorrow, it should be a good time. And then, of course, the sneak peeks to follow shortly after that. Season 13 is looking really, really interesting. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, everyone, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, and take care.